From Channel 3, this is an Eyewitness News update. Here are some of the top stories we're following for you right now. Hi, everybody. I'm Mark Zinni. First up for you, the start of the school year kicked off on a frustrating note in Hamden. Hundreds of families had to scramble to find out how to get their kids to school after learning their buses wouldn't be showing up. The first student bus company does not have enough drivers to fill all the routes. That left 300 kids without a ride to school. We don't know what they're going to do right now. It's not good. It's not good. Very frustrated. But what we can do with the kids are going back to school, so we got to do our best. While the bus company looks to hire more drivers, the school district is analyzing the routes as well and trying to rework them to make sure everyone has a safe ride to school. To Waterbury right now, where students return to the classroom on Monday, students are distanced inside their classrooms, and schools have hand sanitizer, gloves, and extra masks all on hand as well. They're doing four periods per day instead of seven now to cut back on traffic at the hallways. Release times every day are also being staggered at the end of each school day. Heading now to the capital city, the start of the week marked the start of the school year as well for thousands of students in Hartford. This year will obviously look a lot different for them as well. In an attempt to keep everybody safe, schools will still socially distance. Visitors and parents, though, are allowed back inside, but they do have to wear a mask. Connecticut theaters are ready, more than ready, to raise the curtain, but there are some changes coming as well. The Hartford stage is requiring masks and proof of vaccination when performances resume coming up on October 14th. Children under 12 or patrons with a medical exemption will need to have a negative COVID test. The Goodspeed Opera House is also requiring masks and vaccinations. All right, August is going to end on a pleasant note. Your Tuesday is looking good, partly sunny and less humid. Highs 80 to 85, but then going into September, we run into some problems. A flash flood watch is in effect for Wednesday afternoon into Thursday afternoon. Two to four, maybe even as much as six inches of rain. That's why there's an early warning weather alert in effect bridging Wednesday and Thursday. But Friday is looking good, and so is much of the holiday weekend with temperatures gradually warming up and mainly dry weather.